on, Ronnie man, get the total on. Go on the Ronnie, get the Ronnie man on. Don't let go the hood. Watch the choke, watch the crown. Watch the grab. Watch the grab. Keep your shoulder off. Watch the grab, keep turning, block his knee, block all the knees so he can't turn the twist you. Break the grab, break the grab on ground the leg and turn up. Break the grab, that's a good grip. Start turning your shoulder, that's it. Now start keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, that's it, keep turning, block his knee, keep turning and come up. Again. Grab and keep turning, yeah? Lock the knee. Come up, block his knee, block his knee, keep turning, block his knee. That's it. Watch the arm bar. Get the hook in on. Push his knee on. Push his knee off. There we go. There we go. Watch the hook. That's it. Come up, up, up. Get the panda. That's it. One little hook, set up, yeah. Now try and find a way to turn into him. Now act like, sweep him, sweep him now. Come out and turn, come out and turn. Go, 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 turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. Turn. Here you go. Come up, up. There we go, don't get the hook in. Turn, again. Watch the lap out. We can get the running money. Get the both all going. Nice. Stand if you can. Nice, Alex. Nice. Alex, go down. There's no point fighting it. You got to take a second. Pressure, Alex. Get the pressure. Get the pressure. Get the pressure. Flatten down. Flatten down. Get the pressure. Don't come up. Stand. Stand, Alex. So, thank you for competing, and I guess thank you for losing <laughs> that match, because we have a lot of evidence now, because I know I've been told that this guy is actually one of the best competitors in UK in that weight class, you know, in a way it's black belts, black belts for breakfast and has been competing 
since blue belt, I think, in a high, high level in that sense. So it was a very good test. And uh, the thing that, uh, that's, that's been pointed out that he didn't get, you know, in those scrambles, didn't get any points on you. And uh, yeah, so this was wonderful evidence. And I really appreciate your suffering. And uh, because that's usually what, you know, I'm not saying in a bad way that doubters usually, uh, you know, say what about competitions and what about the good guys. And I'm, like I said before, I'm really, really proud or whatever that you could pull off. You could pull off uh, the lapel choke twice, the testing, like, uh, so against that guy. And uh, so it's not like technique works, you know, but you have to make it work. And so you have to be able to pull it off. So I was really impressed by that, that that shows you've been practicing. And then, yeah, so here we go. We'll try to narrate it a bit. So I guess you have, he got guard pass. So he's three points ahead. So rocking, yeah. Uh, uh, let that see a little bit. Yeah, it is about uh, you know if he's pushing your hip down, it is about I guess baby reaching and getting that elbow under you that you can start to uh, lift your head. So they have to choose now where to put the weight, uh, so you can start to rock the boat a bit. So they got the points. I don't know if it's a fair or not fair because they didn't stabilize, so to speak. Uh, but uh, but it is what it is. And finally, you ne you never settled. You kept it moving. That was nice. And I guess um, could be you know I guess you understood that this could be a position that you can isolate. We actually did it ra with Raúl. You know. Let's say he has also a problem with, um, with people coming head, you know, head in from inverting and uh, maybe getting stuck in north-south bottom. So that's a similar thing. We kind of isolated also with Raul uh, to right away get up and use different frames. So, but, so the guy is in a way, yes. So now we're there. In a way, a nice hawking. Um, I haven't talked about it much, but I've been thinking about it, and you do it in a match. You use your arm to keep this knee off. You know, usually I've said, like when you have a hocking, you lift the elbow and stuff, but with the underhook, and you can actually push this. And it seems like the top arm, like I've said actually when, when I'm playing hocking, the top arm elbow up, and you can also push with the top arm towards your hips, you know, to keep, you know, maybe to help the invert, push the shoulder, but in this case, push the knee. So it really, I haven't talked about it much, but it makes sense. And uh, maybe in some case, some future video, I will mention that also. Uh, and then there has to be kind of rules that, you know, when would you do it? And it's not that you're going to push the knee away because it, you know, there, it exposes your neck. Well, there's a better angle in some future, but you kind of use it a frame and to pull your hip out, then it's safer. Other way you lower your top shoulder and the chokes are there, so I will point it out later also. And when the referee is not in a way. And also, it's um, I haven't f figured out the rules yet, because uh, you know right now you're using running man legs. Uh, so it's a hawking with the hawking legs, and it's a hawking with the running man legs because it helps you do better invert. And also, I guess maybe you cannot do cannot do uh, hawking legs at the moment because the way it's you know, the hip is, or there has to be some rules because I've thought about it and they both fit running man legs and hawking legs fit the hawking. So I haven't figured out, you know, where would I do, you know, you know, when, where would I do them? Because I still think hawking legs has to be in the hawking legs, but running man legs give you like a little bit certain ability. So anyway, uh, up, up. So, 
Yeah, see, you're you're using that to kind of push and keep the. You can you're gonna you can cheat a little bit by grabbing the gi. Uh, so we have to figure out where's the clicks actually in the no gi version, and and uh, so and also why I like running man legs here because if you have a hawking leg, they might escape the bottom leg to the body lock situation, but if you have running running man legs, then the bottom leg is actually stuck. You know, and they have to put the top leg in to free the bottom leg to the body lock position and then body triangle. Uh, yeah, so body lock, body triangle, yes. But with those legs, uh, it's, it's harder. Uh, so it's like, there's some rules I have to figure out, uh, but clearly I also use both and people have used both. So it makes sense to study them. So I know he's looking for a choke and you have a pretty good hawking there. And it's, yeah, the, the, if somebody's watching, it looks really weird that, oh, you get choked. But the, that arm is really weak and it's very strange. And if they can straighten that arm, then it becomes more dangerous. And then you have to push in more, so to speak, from the legs. But if that arm is bent, it's really, really hard. So, see, and I don't know what, where the click is right now. You know, is, is it the, I would, I would maybe think uh, like, let's say you grab the top of the knee, you know like with a v-shaped grip you push it down so you kind of try to pull your hip out and keep this set the frame i don't think if you can go under uh, so to speak like a cup the you know the under the knee so so yeah uh, but it's not it's not gonna be like pushing the knee too much because that lowers the lowers the shoulder and it, you're prone more for chokes or if you would push this knee down 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 then that means elbow has to flare and you can sit up because then you can keep pushing. But it has to be a case of, you know, you're able to sit up because then there has to be like a certain precursor in this position because right now he's holding on to you. So that's usually the game. But yeah, I, you were really like, I'm really super impressed um, by you and by just the technique of hawking is that you're not really panicking also. You're given the color, you let the, you know, one of the best guy in the category in UK just grab the collar without aggressive, aggressive uh, wrist fighting, and you're not like you know overreaching and panicking. So that's really cool. And you you let them you know like you know you let them fix the grips and stuff, and you're still playing hawking. See, pushing in. You can also I guess shrimp towards more him like push him a little bit with the hips. I guess, yeah, then it's like a jab cross system. Yes. So, like I always said, if they don't hold on, hold on to you, and you can always turn, and that's what you did. That was beautiful. And you, you were really aware of the hook, the top hook. See, the top hook, really nice. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's a yeah, power half for that underhook, so you go back. That's the game. That's not a flaw or whatever, you know, that's just sport that happens. You can go in and out. I guess what I would like to say, you know, I don't know if you did it or not, if you tried. So if you pull, if he pulls you back from here, you know, then you try to land with your head as, as far away from him. So that's the objective. So see now if he pulls, because see that, you know, people also talk to you, Alex and people watching. The arm, yeah? There's no choking arm. So if this arm pulls, then the you know crunch of the hawking can be maximum. So you can a little bit like fake, you go fake, fake, and then you go backwards, boom. And then you move your shoulder and head there. So you kind of go to invert, you want to invert. And all this loading up kind of helps. So that's what my case is, because there's, they kind of choke. And also by him going up, there's also like a stick ability. Or going to active turtle, you know, then it because it takes the weight off, it doesn't sag the weight, so it can actually, you know, right now, yes. So the choke, oh, I missed that, sorry, I missed that point. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And yeah, now if he's, see, that was a point to go maybe, you know, up um, active turtle. But now he pulls you back, so that was the hawking. I don't see where your head is. And you can really escape the bottom choking arm by, you know, crunching that side a lot. 
so 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 we'll see we'll see what happens the referee is always in the wrong place so again you have a hawking that is super awesome to see because you know this is fresh technique this is I don't know six months old or even less and we can pull it off in competition against the, one of the one of very dangerous opponents so I'm really impressed by technique and the ability that you can actually pull it off uh, because you know if you wouldn't trust that or something you would panic more and you make make some mistakes so in that sense it's not you know only technique it's also your skill see and now what I want I wanted to point out that uh, what we did uh, maybe if you I don't know if you have noticed uh, 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 the, what we do is also we I play it like on my elbow on my elbow running man I play also the I, I crunch the top I you know crunch this crunch that side so when I, when we started it I guess it was that position because that head allows you to turn around really fast because you, you kind of turn towards them and you can um, you know you can turn around but as a position I think uh, maybe I've seen the videos when I actually crunch the crunching in a way makes it easier you know for them to do the power half but it also gives you ability to invert deeper and then escape the power half and this click becomes a click on a tricep here yeah so you need to click it becomes like a twister fight you know tw similar to the twister fight see right now it would be perfect that this arm would click and you would just hawking invert yeah because it's clearly it's not very easy or you could turn around by limp shouldering your arm you know throw your arm over your shoulder and turn around it's kind of limp limp arming limp shouldering and then you could do like a, you know this knee goes to the mat you circle a bit this knee here and you lift the other knee and circle 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 you know and that limp arming after the limp arm this becomes a post somewhere here and then you can pull your bottom arm that's there you can put them on and put it in a hip area okay so that's usually what the limp also can happen but it depends if he grabs your elbow and not like a deep uh, armpit underhook then it's hard then it's hard to limp uh, arm but when he grabs your elbow then it's easy to hawking and get the tricep if he grabs the really high underhook in armpit then it's easier to uh, limp shoulder if the angle is there i hope you understand so awesome hawking 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 i don't think you have a click i think he gets did he get under here oh yeah he was like almost twistering so clicks click clicks yes awesome a little bit more and i think your bottom arm here is doing a nice job clearing the hooks you're also fighting your top leg for people noticing to fights the top leg see and now you grab this is what we talked about also on a site and i only think i would do i uh, just manage that click that click if you would do a hawking click that pushes his head there a little bit and that makes his legs and stuff a little bit light and you have more room if his weight is like you know five centimeters ten centimeters there you have more room to you know maybe even shrimp towards him let's say if you do this you shrimp here and try to face and you get the hips so you get more space because clearly he he wants to come towards you you know crush maybe go to leg drag position so by pulling him like circling yeah by clicking and then pulling that over the head you could have like a create space for yourself to turn in to invert to maybe use the hooks bottom one maybe or you know to grab his legs to go under or over his ankles so you have that otherwise see what happens he comes forward um, that also could be frame here the click if you later and then you could flare your elbow and you could sit up uh, probably this is harder because it's we'll see where you wait yes see now yes so do it again so you set up and uh, clicks 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 see and now you go yes you could have also a little bit kept that frame then right now it's a little bit you know he, he's gift wrapping almost you think about hawking side control the elbow position 
So we have to fix that right away. You went down again, yes. Okay, so it's more like recovery stuff happening here because you have to really monitor your elbow because one mistake and they can grab this and your problems are exponentially bigger. But also I know you've been training gift wrap, being in a gift wrap. So I would also expect you would be more prepared. So right now it's about the elbow, that you pull the elbow to the right position or you go to the elbow. Uh, and yeah, invert, turtle, and then they pull you, you use it to sit up to panda. Yes, that was beautiful. You flared your elbow, see? Yes, you flared your elbow. Uh, pun, kind of like uh, insert the pun. This was what Raul should have done yesterday in competition. Um, he almost got himself in too much trouble, but we got away and it was a good test. Now we know what, what he has to work on. So uh, Raul, if you're watching, <laughs> uh, so this, Here, I think you will take the hooks out. Uh, yes, pretty good. And then you end up in hooking again. So let's go a little bit back. Lift one leg, yes, take the hook out, both hooks out. And what this is also, that shows a little bit you haven't trained, I guess, you're grabbing the gi. So this is not trained reaction, this is not clicks. So this also shows you a little bit uh, trouble because he's controlling yours. You should controlling his tricep. The, uh, the gi is not the right place and he actually pulled your elbow more than you pull him. So that's also there. And he did a really nice job by grabbing right away. So it could have, let's go a little bit back. It could have been your job. Now you know it. So we'll see where he grabs. See so you reach right away with your left arm. See, and you, um, so I don't know if you shouldn't have done it, but just because I don't see the other side, maybe you should have pendulum the legs to the other side and went to the knees. And uh, well, I don't know what grip he has there, but yeah, right now you were pushing. And so that was maybe not the smart thing. I think he has an underhook right now. No, oh yeah, he had a Kimura, yes. So let's go again. Uh, yeah, he has a Kimura grip right now. So I guess the priority would be also to, uh, right now you could sit up, or your priority is get uh, get away from underhook because it's an armbar Kimura. And he's doing a nice job by controlling your bottom elbow. So uh, you could, you know, like I said, pull it back from the tricep. And if you pull it back, it helps you also, if you pull this back, it helps you also to circle the hawking and get the, your elbow in a, in a way a better position. See, he's doing a nice job. He went, that was nice. That's a crucifix threat also. Yeah, he, ch he chose not to. That's pretty good. Let's see it again. Yeah, so we went up, so Kimura's and arm bars are gone. That it's too, too risky to jump, that was really good. Uh, he left go, let go. Yes, you know that also underhook grip, um, you have to, if somebody grabs, you know, let's call it Habib, somebody grabs that, it's peeled off by you opening the elbow a bit. You have to time it, you know, when you do it, because the hook is clearly there, and then your free arm can grab the pinky side. But you have to pick a good place to do it, because otherwise you open the hook. So it could be a trade-off, which one you fear the most, you know? Do you want to get your arm back, or do you afraid of hook? Uh, yeah, see, now he's grabbing the gi again. So again, if you're inverting, actually, uh, I would, let's say, let's go back. I would, so it's some clicks. I would just, uh, because also I'm not saying I know, but I'm, yeah, see? I find that, that that arm of yours, let's do it again. Maybe it's annoying to watch this way, but see? Um, it's like I could pull that tricep a little bit there, you know, it, it helped me also if I move this elbow and then I can tuck in everything here and then it's easier to invert, I would say. So then clicks, yeah, so, mm. and also this arm could be grabbing that wrist to, you know, not letting him grab in that sense. 
So right now the clicks are kind of you know, in, scr in the scrambles. They're really hard to do. Actually, I'm not saying I could do it. In a bird eye view and all the always watching videos, it's it's easy to to be smart afterwards. But that's the point of narrating. Hawking, hawking, hawking. You're not in a hawking at the moment. You're straight body. See. Now it went a bit bad. Uh, so, yes. Uh, that underhook I wouldn't do here. It's very, very hard to reach. And to have meaningful strength in the arm. He's too low on the hips. So that means if he's very low, you have a chance to baby reach an elbow post and get up. Or let's say you can put your free arm front of the, you know, his right hip and then elbow flare and get up, you know, like a Darst defense. And you can't get Darst from there. So we'll see what happens. Now he's stuck. Yeah, and, 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 and. But he's still got, again, points, no? Uh, you want to do this? Ah, you know that actually what I do, uh, people counter this when I grab. They put their, their, they put their weight on a hip right away. Yeah. So this, I usually do this, that uh, I try to pull and then I do a baby reach. So baby reach. And then I flare my elbow up and elbow post because their weight is there. So I can really maybe tuck in the, you know, do jab cross, tuck in for a hawking for a split second. So they drop their weight even more here and then hawking baby reach. An elbow post and I, you know, sit up. What happens afterwards depends on them also. Maybe uh, there's a scramble, but I get, you know, I get to rock the boat again. So, uh, uh, uh. I get to rock the boat again. Yeah, you're waiting for this, I know. <laughs> Yes. Oh, very good. Actually, you 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 did it in that sense. Uh, like back, I want to see your one one of your arms. Uh, I think it was your left arm. Yes. Good. Nice turtle. Yes. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Are oh, you in, in a close guard now? Yes. Full match. So, I think it was a very necessary piece of evidence, uh, testing for yourself. Uh, some things came out also, you know, and let's say for you, maybe some north-south drilling where somebody's head Shoulders are on your hips, uh, and so that would be. We I have some ideas because we've done it, like I said, with Raúl already. So and they, uh, the way of competing, and I was lucky that you know I was happy. Kind of you did quite good, and we you know we got no, you didn't do purposely. You know you just trained the fence, but it just happened against a good guy. So and if they couldn't submit you, uh, yeah, because you know I'm not I'll try to like praise you and here a lot, lot, but. It was a good test, and it was a good test for your brown belt level. And uh, he, those scrambles, he, didn't, he couldn't get points, and there was no submissions. So that's really a testament of your training also and your level. So I think you should be proud of that. Not get it too much in your head, but you should you know, take it because it's real, and then move on. So I really appreciate, I really appreciate you being on the site active and contributing. And, uh, and showing people also um, the results that uh, other people that come in a site, they have more proof. So it's kind of like our job to provide it and they have an easier time because there's more evidence how it works. So I really appreciate it. So let's keep working.